Can I first of all say that standing here and looking out at the sea of faces, if I'm allowed to say this, young faces, uh, I think that the most important thing to say this evening is this is the right institute at the right time in the right place. It's the right institute because I think the study of political economy is more important now than it has ever been. Huge assumptions which have been taken for granted for a very, very long time have been thrown up in the air. And so the thing I would say most of all actually to the young people here tonight is I think this is an incredibly exciting time to be studying economics or politics. For the five years before the last recession, i.e. before 2007, so from 2002 uh, onwards, the economy grew by 11%, but the wages of everyone earning less than average income stayed the same. And on current forecasts, the average worker will be earning the same in three years' time as they were 10 years ago. So that gives you a sense of the squeeze in living standards that is taking place and the resonance of the idea of the squeeze middle. Tuition fees, the difficulty of getting on the housing ladder, the environment, all of these issues, are, I think, are part of the fact that people, the squeeze middle, are thinking, well, are my kids going to be, do better than me? I don't think that can be guaranteed in any way in the economy we live in. Today, the squeeze middle, I think, knows the system is not working for them. And at the same time, there appear to be runaway rewards right at the top of society. And we've seen this most recently over bank bonuses. But I think it's a phenomenon that we've not only seen the, the middle squeezed, but we've seen the top 1% soar away from the rest. Anger at the old system's flaws is, as I've said earlier, not enough to produce change. It needs the ideas and the political movement to transform discontent with the old settlement into a new settlement. Now, I hope and expect that Sperry will make its contribution to uh, the new settlement. And it's also what we're trying to do uh, as the opposition. It's also about saying we have to end the situation where we have rewards for failure at the top of society, harming both the company and the workforce. Now, we've suggested a number of changes to that, including taxing the bankers' bonuses, putting an employee on every remuneration committee. I think that's just the start of the change that we need. George Osborne said recently that action to tackle big bonuses is anti-business. I say it is not anti-business. It is pro-business. Because one of the lessons of the financial crisis is it was a something-for-nothing culture in our boardrooms that led to the crisis. But this is an important point. Tackling excessive pay at the top is not the whole answer to responsible capitalism. It is about building that long-term wealth that we need for the future. And on welfare, and this is a very, very important point I want to make, I think we need a welfare state which frankly meets people's needs better than it does at the moment. If you take the issue of childcare, care for young kids, and elderly care, they are two huge failings of our welfare state at the moment. It's actually, for the, for the squeeze middle, for pe working people right across this country, they are two things that make their lives far, far more difficult. I think anybody looking at the way things are thinks you need big change. But I think there's a danger, both of the change not happening, but also a sense of pessimism. A sense of pessimism that things seem so grim that nothing can get better. Now, I think the most important thing I want to leave you with tonight is to say, actually, the lesson of history is that change can happen, and positive change can happen. So my appeal to you tonight is to say, actually, believe in the power of politics to change things. And believe, and this is particularly a message to the young people here tonight, Believe you are at a time of massive flux and change, a time of massive possibility. But it relies on the ideas, and it relies on the political movement uh, to make that happen. That's why I'm so uh, grateful for Sperry's establishment. I think it's an incredibly important uh, innovation. And I hope that it will be the task of everybody in this room who cares about these issues to turn our energy and resourcefulness towards how we create this reformed, responsible capitalism. Above all, a new model of political economy which delivers prosperity and fairness 
for the working people of Britain once again. Thank you very much.